Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Today on this video, I'm gonna show you how to beat the 4-1 half court press defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe because I post these videos every single day. So today in this video, like I promised a couple of days ago, I am going to show you how to beat that 4-1 press defense at the half court line this is more of a three-quarter court press however we call this a half court press because that's where they are setting up their defense so this defense like i said in a few videos ago really stumped my team when i was the first year coaching i was around 18 years old and i was playing against a premier league team like a triple a team and i was only coaching a single a double a team it took us a whole quarter to figure out how to beat it. I knew how to beat it. I just had to explain to my players how to beat it. We were down about 23 to like 4. We were getting killed. We ended up losing that game by like 10. So not that bad considering that such a gap in skills. But we were able to make it back. We made the playoffs in that tournament which was really good. It was a triple A tournament. But long story short, let's get down to this clipboard. So here we have the 4-1 zone defense. Once this player gets past that free throw line or three point line, these two players are going to pop out and guard him. Now, the number one option, if their player is their center, their safety player, is playing way back in the key, you have a wide open middle of the court. You don't even need a press break, really. All you need is, if you've got your center down here, whatever, um, let's get players one and two on the court. So let's say you have, most likely in most press breaks, you have one, two, and three on your side of the court. One of those players, all he has to do is cut to the middle, and you can pass him the ball. You've beat their press. Now you just kind of wait in that area until you can set up your offense. Now there's a slight issue now. If player five, if, they, if the coach, instead of having him play back in the key, he's playing a high, which means that there's no middle there, and we have player four able to cut off this pass, and we have player five able to cut off any pass in the middle, player five down here is not gonna be open. So what we have to have is we can have player three pass to player two, which is then gonna have player two blue run towards player two red, and we, we don't want him to get trapped here. This is a really bad area. You really want to stay away from these corners. But this is baiting of the defense to think that you're not going to be able to do this. What you want to do is now have player 3 take a step back. Because now the whole defense has shifted over. Player 2 can then pass to player 3. Who can then pass to player 1. Who can get it up the court really quickly. And at this point you have beat their press. Now let's actually run a few press breaks. And we can see how we can run against the defense that has a, a, a relaxed center and an active center. Okay, so in this first one, we're going to have the relaxed center, which means that he's back in his key and there's nobody guarding the middle of the court, which is a huge mistake. However, some coaches coach this defense like this. So what we're going to have is player one run to the ball. And now what we will have is player five. He is going to be cutting he's going to player one is going to dribble the ball up the court player three is going to get on that side we're going to have a nice spread and what we will have now is player five cutting to the middle which may bring player four in at which case either player five could be open or player two could be open to to dribble it up the left side or right side depending on which way you're looking at this court another option is now we could have player four setting a screen on player three which then we would, we would have player three open if we dribble just a little bit over to that side. So now we have an active center. This is the active center. He's up near that mid court. Because we're not past half, we don't have to worry about player four having three seconds in the key. That only starts happening once you get past half, generally in most leagues, unless the referee is just, you know. Anyways, um, so first player one's gonna get that ball. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread the court again. And what we will do is we, we are going to have player two, obviously we're going to have these guys up front. We're going to have player two 
receive that pass, which is going to shift the defense over. And now we have player three open. However, we're going to have player four now come up. We're going to we're going to swing this ball around, swing it around to player three. Player four needs to screen for this player, as well as player five needs to screen on the other side, which now has an open lane for him to go straight to the rim. And if these players are able to catch up, whatever, dribble it back out and set up a play. But I really doubt this is one way we absolutely killed their defense right there. That whole side, even though you're really supposed to stay away from the side, we were able to like really, really hammer player three hard. And our number one player, our player three, uh, his name was Kyle. He he did it about four or five times where he just went up the sideline and scored really, really easily. Anyways, that is my strategy myself, how to beat the 4-1 half-court press defense. There's really no set press break to run against this. Um, you can, there's there are ways to get around it, but at a half-court press, I always find that you're better off trying to find the openings and the mistakes that that team is doing. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video because I, mo I make these videos every day. <laughs> I got together with a trainer a few years ago and this book absolutely works. There's tons of testimonials showing that either the player has lost weight or they have jumped huge amounts higher. So it's very inexpensive. Go check it out. Link is in the description below. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.